We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. So the Bronx Bombers look for the series sweep at home against their division rivals. First pitch is next. Jordan Montgomery, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Striding into the box, Jose Iglesias. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. In there, 0-1. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. The 0-2 once more. Ball. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Spoils another one, and this is exactly what you're looking for out of your leadoff hitter. Outside in a full count, three and two. Gotta love the battle we're seeing right out of the gates in this game. That's seven pitches now, and if this is any indication, we're in for a good contest here. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created exactly. equal. Right the there, he goes down on strikes, oh, but he really made that right. guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. In now, Ramon Urias, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He'll enter play down at an even 240 for the year. Five homers and 14 driven in. The 1 0. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Montgomery has a reputation or a knack if you will for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that obviously but as a starter that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty V and I'm going to tell you who likes this the bullpen likes it and the manager likes this because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams this guy's made a living doing this in his career line towards center field but sadly for him this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Ray Mancini. So stepping in Trey Mancini first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch. In there for strike one zero oh and one time for a look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Maddie, we got a good one behind the dish today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want as a player is the ability to talk to someone. 
And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. And here's Renato Nunez. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. 11 home runs, 39 driven in. Oh one, one here's the pitch. Whoa, that's inside. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Mancini leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. Orioles leave one. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Alex Cobb is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, so far this year, this guy hasn't pitched very well on the road. He's actually struggled on the road, so it'll be interesting to see if he can turn that around here in this one. Ready now, Brett Gardner. He's currently ninth in the Four American League Yankees. batting race entering the play. This isn't this guy's Brett. first rodeo. He's Gardner. been in the league for quite a while now. This wily veteran is having a great year. Here it comes. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. Gardner. A native of South Carolina is hoping for a trip to this year's All-Star game, and he very well may have it. Coming into the day, he's second in fan votes among American League center fielders. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. Batting second, the third baseman, number 29. Next for New York, Gio Urshela. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, d -Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a lit. Oh, look at Davis. Again, a one-two. Nope. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So it was a swinging strike three. Gio Urshela becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Go red. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 
289 is the average coming in. 14 homers and 32 driven in. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Cobb is there to make the catch and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Second inning set to go. And digging in is the outfielder, DJ Stewart. Number 24. First pitch of the at bat. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. This team going for the sweep is looking for some home cooking. It's always nice to win a series, but particularly nice when you can sweep a series at home. And he misses 2 and 1. And on one hand, they can be happy they've got their ace on the mound for them in this sweep game. But on the other hand, they're tasked with facing an ace themselves. It sure is. This is one of those games where you flip a coin heads or tails. Two terrific starting pitchers. Both teams firing their bullets. Their ace is going today. This should be a good one. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball that on the inner half of the plate. You can see that he just Number isn't eight. able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. To the plate now, Andrew Velasquez. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. We'll check in with an average still south of 230. No home runs as of yet and no RBIs either. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 oh and 2, right? Batting, you have batting. to protect for the fastball. The you have to look for the soft Rio stuff down and away. Marie. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 oh and 2. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Outside with the breaking pitch, and he falls behind at 2 and 0. Pitch on the way. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Lifetime history with Alex Cobb. He's got one hit in 16 tries. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Stanton is almost surely going to receive an invite to the All-Star game as he currently leads all right fielders in fan votes. Yeah, this comes as no surprise. This guy is one of the best players in the game. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. 
That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in Batting off fit. the plate. And this no batter is able to fight and keep Come his on. hands inside this baseball oh, and drive it for a knock. Impressive. Stepping in now, Mike Talkman. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. The number's coming in. He's at 255. Five homers, 18 driven in. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. Two zero, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Has a look. Now the pitch. Line drive, base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Batting pitch. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Into the box now. Luke Voigt. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split-fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Batting seven. Next so will be the designated, designated hitter, hitter, Mike Five. Ford. Four. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three-run shot to right center field. Third home run for him on the year as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. And you could tell by the sound of that one off the bat that was going a long way. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. The catcher. This will go Kyle. after the first pitch and bounce Higa it into foul Higa. territory. The Yankees, however, have to beat their opposition's best as they've got to go up against their ace in this one. This one isn't in the books yet, but when you're going for the sweep and you have a nice lead like they do early on here, things are looking awfully good for the sweep department. Count now a ball and a strike. One and one, here it comes. Still only one out in the inning. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Pitch on the way. Too high. Ball three. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch one more time. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first that thing you should not. do is stop digging. Well, stop. the guy on the bump obviously Tyler. hasn't heard that one. Way. Into the box now, Tyler Wade. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now 
has a look now to pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. Here's the tag by Iglesias, and they've got him at second base. Very well could have been a hit and run attempt there. You kind of have to make contact for those to work out. He didn't, and his teammate was hung out to dry at second. Cobb looks in. Here he comes 0-1. Maybe a favorable call there taken for a strike. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Nope. That misses 1-2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. We've played two. It's now 3-0 New York. Chris Davis at the plate now. He's two Orioles. for seven in the series the so far. Hey, we're still in the early stages Chris. in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Davis playing here in his age 34 season. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah Matty you ain't kidding right there. Ten years we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. No breaking ball called just a bit low. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2 but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Fouled off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And another foul ball. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. 0-1 the count. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Here's another 0 2. One out, nobody on. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another 0 2 home. The count is one and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it? didn't happen and 
and he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, the bat, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is line to left. That gets down and the inning continues. Dan, you have to love it when your defense picks you up right there, keeping him at first base. Oh, well, the roll that looked like it had extra bases base. written all over it. Great oh, job by the left fielder right. to get to that ball and get the ball back in, keeping that to a single. Standing in now, Ramon Urias, as he sends it on the ground to first. And that is into right field, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next for the hey, after back-to-back -back two the out right hits field. right now, this right. pitcher thought he was going to cruise Thank through this you. inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going on the board. So here's Trey Mancini as he'll take a look at ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the heart of those 17 inches. The one two misses ball two number three hole hitter up right now cleanup guy on deck two ball two strike count I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here here's the two two drilled right back up the middle Oh, way to get dirty. How about that? One for the highlight reel as they get the force play to get him out of trouble. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Welcome back. As the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order, fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitter's tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. A ball and a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Cobb will do this himself, and that's the first out. Now batter, number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. 
looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The pitch. No. This right handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. Bases are empty, one man out. On a great pitch there, caught him reaching. It's one and one. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. In now, Torres. Now batting, second baseman. And Lake he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. One out, nobody on. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Stewart is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now batter, the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. First pitch on its way. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Pitch taken, several inches below the zone, in fact. One and two now, as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That's ball two. 2 1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Gardner is there. One away. The batter, number 24.
Ready now for Baltimore, DJ Stewart. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting, number 88. Now to the plate, Andrew Velasquez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yeah. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Well. And it's 1 and 1. One and one. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. No yeah, offer on that one. Out. Two balls and a strike. Aye. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Mike Tuckman, he scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Here it comes. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0-2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. To 1-2 and two now. And this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away made pretty quick work oh, of him right game. there setting him down the on only man. four pitches Look. and what I liked about all of those pitches what they were down around the knees or lower pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot at the plate now Luke Voigt. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And he'll reach second now with one away. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Mike Ford. Stepping in now, Mike Ford. He swings and lines it to left. Stewart is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Up next to the Yankees, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Digging in for his second at bat, Kyle Higashioka. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Cobb comes set and the pitch in there and it's 0 and 1 but facing right handed pitching so far this season Higashioka is below the Mendoza line the batting average under 200 unfortunately he'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season but he can beat you in a variety of different ways and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Plays off the splitter that time, and it's two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game.
Now the 2 1 pitch is taken for strike two. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Iglesias is there. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We played four full. The Yankees lead it four to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus Leading and energy high. Orioles, Thank you, Heidi. Baseman, Rio Ruiz. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and one. Here it comes. Eight, two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2 and 2. Well, that's back to back off speed pitches, and he wasn't biting on either. Now, let's see if he goes back to the hard stuff or gives the softer stuff another shot. Two and two count. Here it comes. Hit down the third baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Here it comes. Hit down the line at first. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now so still nothing against him on the scoreboard here right. in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Here's Chris Davis now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Now here it comes. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Count even now at one and one. No contact there, and it's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Man, they've really had his number so far now in this that series. That's his it. fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box now, Pedro Severino. No balls in one strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game.
And now pitch on the way. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a curveball misses inside. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Swing, and he rockets this one down the left field line. Almost into the short porch, but it's off the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. And he just blasts this it? thing down the left the field line. Shot. I thought it might okay. bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound, and he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart here, and you know he would have loved one more out to qualify for the win, but he's gone nonetheless after four and two thirds. Your Luis Sessa please. will come on now to make now his 30th the appearance of the year so far. Number 85, Luis Sessa. So now to the plate, Jose Iglesias. He sends it on the ground softly to the left. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Stepping into the box, Tyler Wade. He's 0 for 1 thus for the far. Yankees. The shortstop. Tyler. First pitch coming. Here it is. Way. A fastball oh, here as he'll take a look at ball one. 1 and 0. Oh. Splitter that misses too low, and he's behind 2 and 0 oh now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Liner towards second. And that's the first out. The oh, man, you can't hit a ball 11. any harder than that. Red. I mean, this ball gets on him in a Roger. heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. Here's Brett Gardner now. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Down the third baseline. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can number tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Into the box, Gio Urshela. 
as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now the pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Two out, nobody on. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. I'd say this is a win already for the guy in the box. You find yourself down 0-2, you work it to even, and now it's full. You got a chance to do some damage in this situation. And he fouls this one off. The next 3-2. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. When a guy homers off you early in the game, Up the last thing game. you want to do is challenge the him and maybe base. have him do it again. Wayver. He was a lot more careful Wayver. with him there. Wade Wayver. LeBlanc takes Wayver. over here with the runner at first and now two gone in the inning. Number 23, Wade LeBlanc. Torres will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Count one and oh. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. You'll only now see about ten of right these pitches field. a year. The change up on a tee in the middle of the plate. But tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued. Stayed within himself and drove it for a base hit. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. He swings and grounds it to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair, but they're in front four to nothing. Digging in once again, Ramon Urias. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now batting. The right and here's the big right-handed power Ray. threat, Trey Mancini. First offering on its way. And it misses inside, 1-0. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. 3-0 and to him now. Now the pitch. Ah. 
Three one is a fastball and he can't connect three and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. There's ball four. And I'm pretty sure he thought that now was back. a strike. He's thinking, what do I have to do? Renato. Put a bow on it? Walk it down and put it in the catcher's glove by myself? I think it got called a little outside, so he has to put it behind him now. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Come set, now the pitch. A ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike. A two and one count to Nunez. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. The batter. Digging in Number now, D.J. Stewart. He was a ground-out victim last time up. From the stretch. Just oh, off the good. outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two out with the man at first. 2-0 to the nope. Baltimore left fielder. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning because if he's not going to get those calls he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate and that usually means damage done. Hard hit ball to second. Torres picks it up. Throw on to Fort takes care of him and the inning is over. One left for the Orioles. They're down four nothing. Ready once again, Mike Talkman. He'll lead it got, off as we start the Yankees, home sixth. The left fielder, Mike Talkman. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. The 1-0 hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Now the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Man, now there's just no first excuse baseman. for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially Four. your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone.
high in the air and deep to straightaway left. Racing back the left fielder, still ranging back. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number 15 for him thus far. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> Yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. Mike Ford will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. No outs, nobody on. Liner in there for a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able now to keep it. his hands inside that ball, stay square Kyle. as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the 1-0. -oh. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Nobody out, runner on first. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1 pitch is taken, ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at 3-1, and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. Relay to Davis, and indeed it's a double play. Now it's man. hard to do anything with a pitch stop. like that that's below the zone. And if you do do Play. anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result, a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Digging in, Tyler Wade. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Back outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. The six, seven, eight hitters coming up to start the seventh, and it's all New York. Six nothing Yanks. You're ben Heller pitcher, is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 61, Ben Heller. Ball set for the start of the inning and set to go as the switch hitting outfielder, Andrew Velasquez. 
It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. Oh. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2 and 1. Hey. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike 2. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. Baseball. So they've really figured Yo. out how to attack mm -hmm. this guy. At the plate now, Rio Ruiz. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0 home. Fouled away. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. In now, Chris Davis. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. 0 oh for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0 home. Runs a bit inside for a ball. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. 3 and 0 now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Three and one. Yep, three and one. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Three up, three Ladies down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. The three of us threat. return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. And we're back for the bottom of the seventh as we check in with Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Hector attention, Velasquez please. comes on to now pitch now, hoping for order. better results than the other Number arms 76. that they've run out there in this one. Hector Velasquez. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and throwing. Now the 1 0. Well, that's off the plate. Hard hit ball to short. Throw will be well late as he reaches it first. The batter, number 29. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the 1 0. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. One and two. One and two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. The one two line drive to center field. Oh and it eats him up a bit. Well when you're going as well as he is not even a two strike count is going to get in your way. The yeah Maddie, he's having a monster Raver. season well over 300. Go right red. there when you're feeling that confident at the plate it doesn't matter what the count is you're willing to go deep and still feel confident. Into the box Torres as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Nope. Off the plate one ball one strike. First and second here with nobody out. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. Velasquez has thrown a little over 50 innings and has a rather inflated ERA, one that won't come down easily. From the stretch. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. That's just quality pitching right there now for that, that strikeout. As we look right at field. all five pitches, Shot notice Carlo. the location, all five Center. down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 
He's working on a one for three thus far. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Now the 2 0 home. Outside, 3 0 now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. Now the three and two pitch. Right side but it's going to be a foul ball. The three two one more time. Ground ball foul down the left side. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit on the ground to short. Iglesias is up with it. There's one. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. One left for the Yankees. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Standing in, Pedro Severino. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. As mentioned early in the broadcast this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep and at this point in the game it's looking rather promising. Hey Matty V Yogi Berra had a great ah. saying it ain't over till it's over. Well this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This oh. one is pretty much in the books and even sweeter of course is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful so we'll see if they can send these fans home happy no doubt about it fan base is excited they are all out in full force coming to the ballpark hoping to witness a sweep and it looks pretty good at this point well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to full count three and two Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in Not this bad. one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a okay. nice effort turned in by the Thank starter. You. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box now, Jose Iglesias. Here's a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. He was a ground out victim last time up. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Hey. A ball and a strike. Pick up, one and one. Liner towards second. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. 
Boy, that's a really good pitch, Mark, right there. Down in the zone. Now that's one as a pitcher. You just kind of have to shake your head and tip your cap to the batter. Yeah, right there. You're looking to just either foul that off or stay in there and survive. He found a way to not only stay in there and survive, but drive it up the middle for a knock. At the plate, Ramon Urias. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Oh, 01, here's the pitch. Lifted in the air to right field. Stanton has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Trey Mancini. Coming to the plate now, Trey Mancini. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. All one's the count. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Stanton is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Orioles leave one. They still find themselves down six zip. Stepping into the box, Mike Tuckman. He Yankees. reached on an error and later the scored his last time up. Mike Tuckman. First pitch on its way. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Dero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. Now the one and one pitch hit hard on the ground towards second and this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder in the first kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that one right up the middle. In now, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now the 1 0 is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees first baseman. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 change up for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Grounded to third. This could be two. Scooped up. One there. Relay to Davis. And indeed, it's a double play. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Mike Ford. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Mike Ford. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he lays off there 1 0.
the pitch. Hit hard, but right into the shift. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Debra, now with that stack infield on the right Kyle. side. To hit it through where the Gina shift is, Gioka. have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there. Dan Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. So now to the plate, Kyle Higashioka. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Ready to deliver the one and two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees lead this one six to nothing. Tommy Kingley comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. All set to start the ninth in this one, and striding forward the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Nope. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. Two and zero count. Here it comes. Hey. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Hey. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. He takes something off there as this is swung on and missed, and there's one gone here in the ninth. Now batting, number 24. Into the box now, DJ Stewart. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Pretty clear Number he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. A one count. Here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out.
And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Hard hit towards center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And this will get all the way out to the 399 sign in Death Valley. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. To the plate now, Rio Ruiz. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 0-1. Ripped on the ground to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to first, and the Yankees break out the brooms at home and sweep their division rivals. Yeah, and that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. A 6-0 shutout to finish off tonight's game. New York took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Sessa earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.